They've got tornadoes dropping down in West Texas. Kind of feels like everything is getting back to normal. <laughs> but really, on a serious note, though, it really can be you know, quite quite dangerous for them, especially this weekend. Uh, yeah, I certainly agree. Out West Texas, that's where the problems really will really, really will be a concern for us over the next few days, Casey. So here's the setup for us. We have all this moisture continuing to stream in. It's this upper level system that is responsible for helping to aid in the strong storm development, and that's what we've had this afternoon, including that tornado that hit northwest of the Lubbock area, not in the Lubbock metro proper, but inside of Lubbock. Lubbock County. Here's a close look at the radar tonight. We transitioned from a tornado watch to now a severe thunderstorm watch and we're starting to see a line begin to form here, but there are still some individual storms. Those are still supercells. They can produce some hail at this point. That's why it's more so of a severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect. There's the outlook for the rest of tonight. Watch what happens tomorrow though. An enhanced risk of severe weather across some of the same areas that have seen severe storms today. That Saturday Day. What about for Sunday? Well, everything works east, but things really miss us here. We're only going to be looking at a couple of thunderstorms perhaps into the midday and afternoon hours. Here's future cast cloud cover picking up for us for tomorrow. There are those storms that will really begin to get going on Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Moving into Sunday morning, here comes that line working its way in, but it really falls apart. Maybe a couple of showers and thunderstorms, but I really don't anticipate anything severe. Things do get a little bit active east of Highway 259 in the afternoon hours. That's when those storms probably begin to ramp up, but they're right there on the cusp of exiting the KETK East Texas viewing area. So dry tomorrow, highs near 80, some rain, a couple of storms Sunday, turning colder next week, especially next Thursday and Friday. All right, Marcus, thank you very much.